right, hey Jays. So, this is my fourth week into working for the USPS. Um, it's been pretty stressful. I would not lie. It's been pretty stressful. Do I, um, though I like the job, it's very, very stressful. My first check was very disappointing because I was kind of confused as far as, you know, like how much I've worked and where the pay started and ended and all of that. So the week that I got paid, I thought I was getting paid for, you know, that week. And I wasn't, I had to wait until this week in the fourth week. And it's just been, ugh, getting paid every two weeks is trash to me. I've never done this. It's very new. Um, very, very new because I'm accustomed to, you know, dealing with my money weekly and budgeting out my stuff and things like that weekly. So it's very <laughs> different for me to deal with that. All right. So um, a lot of people take this job for just the holiday season, you know, casual. Um, they're called casuals pretty much and they just work for the six weeks and they go on with their business they do it for the money the pay is pretty good because i worked out my money for the last two weeks i worked and christmas shopping here i come but it's a lot of work and technically we're we are not supposed to be doing these kind of work with these boxes and all of these stuff we are supposed to be at a station basically um uh, sorting the mail for carriers, working at the window and these things. But, um, since there were like, it was, it was really, really hectic last year. They brought us in early to help with the, um, holiday rush doing this at these hubs. You understand? Because when I signed up for this job, this was not in the job description. It's only when I was doing my, um, orientation, I was open to the fact, I can't remember if I um, spoke about this a little bit in the first video, sorry if it's repetitive, um, but yeah, I, d I was not expecting this when I was hearing about these boxes and all of that stuff that I had to be, I'm like, what is you talking about, people, they were? Um, but as I mentioned in the first video, I am 360. That means I am a permanent worker. Though I would be let go, I will be called back at some point. All right. So far, it has been really stressful. Um, I think what makes it more stressful is the time that I have to be there. I have to be there at 3 a.m. in the morning. That is like a tour. When you start, that is your tour time. They call it tours. And they added an extra tour to take on the workload. But um, we might be changing. So in my next video, I, I was hoping to have that news in this video about the change and all that. I actually, I'm off today. So I have to text my supervisor and see if I have to go in tomorrow at what time. Because it's like, is it changed? Or if I go, or do I go in for my same time? He said he would call or text. But you know just to be sure and just to have your own back is good to like reach out to them um yeah so because you could be like you can go there something's changed and it could be like you have my number right so why didn't you call i'll say well you said you would call but if you didn't see me call why? you know so to avoid all of that it's good to like reach out to them <clears throat> that time i have to get up boy i can't even enjoy my off day because i'm sleeping all the time like i got up this morning and i i put the kids um help the kids you know leave for school i did my makeup i took some pictures for my blog i slept um i woke up i went back to sleep now i'm up and all i feel like doing is sleeping like i'm so sleepy right now <laughs> You understand? And then um, what, it, what is pretty stressful is that the actual job is very, very physically demanding. It's very physically demanding. You're hauling boxes um, all day. You're just, you're picking up boxes all day. You're pushing heavy metal objects 
all day and it's very very hurtful on the body i've known people who left the job and it's just it's it's a lot you know what i mean it's a lot so um that's why i say it's 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 kind of stressful so hopefully my time will change and um things get better <laughs> for the for the remaining four or five three weeks but um yeah apart from that like dealing with this is my first time working with so many people um i've worked with small groups and stuff like that but this is my first time like being in a big big work environment it's been very interesting for me i'm pretty much a loner on the job i talk to a few people and stuff like that and um i, I i'm not like a part of there's a lot of groups and stuff i'm not a part of any like cliques or groups or anything like that and i've noticed for the first couple of weeks everybody was just like chill everybody body was you know just cool but then as the third week start rolling in and we start getting like used to the job and everybody started getting comfortable and stuff like that a lot of um real personality starts coming out you know when people start getting comfortable and stuff real personality stuff start coming out i've had like bump ins with a couple people already and other people have bump in like you know i mean for the most part there's there were no like physical fights or anything like that but um, when people get comfortable, they, they you know, we, we start to show our really true colors and who we really are. So there's, um, there's a lot of that going on, a lot of strong personalities. And, you know, you just get to see a lot of, you know, how people are. I am one to really like kind of like just back a little bit and just kind of watch people and just see how they move, see how they work and stuff like that. There's people who do extra work there's people who you think work there before there's people who hide away and you don't see them and there's people who hardly work and but as they said in um orientation you just sip it and just do your job you're there you're working and also is if you're seeing it the supervisors are seeing it as well so it just leave it alone and just keep doing you you know what i mean so that's what i have been doing people and that's what i'm gonna continue doing <laughs> um but yeah and I, we're very lucky that we have some pretty cool supervisors because one minute you can be like real talking cool with them and cracking jokes and all of that stuff and then the next minute they're sending you home early because at the end of the day that's your supervisor you know what i'm saying but um every job comes with like pros and cons and um what else the hub is very 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 dusty the mail is very 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 dirty so if you have like what do you call that thing is allergies allergies is the word that i wanna or asthma or whatever you probably cannot work at a hub it is dusty my shoes be looking dusty my pet dusty it's so unclean that even though you're wearing gloves handling the mail and doing your job when you take those gloves off underneath your nails are black with dust that's how dirty that environment is. It's a real, real problem. So a lot of people wear masks and stuff like that. I was trying to wear one because I was sick. I'm feeling a little bit better noticing that I'm not coughing as much and all of that. So that's good. But I was like asking my mom, mom, where's your pack of masks you had? Like I was ready to wear a mask because it's really, really dirty, really, really dusty. But um yeah hopefully by the end of the, the video i could update you and say that yes our times were changed or whatever or before this video goes up i might annotate if the time change or not because you're not gonna see this in real time you're gonna see this like probably a week or two after you know what i mean so um as i'm recording this video i don't think i've had i put up part one yet i'm gonna put up part one in a couple of days so it's really far behind so by the time all these videos are done i'm probably gonna be done this so long <laughs> you know what i mean so okay so that's it i've been talking for like 10 minutes that's enough i hope you guys um found this video interesting and what else what else what else 
yeah, that's pretty much uh, my experience thus far. I'm sorry I'm not able to show you exactly in there what I'm doing because it's just like, I'm always so busy. Like, you're hardly able to be on the phone when you're working. It's just, you're not able to use your phone on the floor and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But um, hopefully in video three, I can have more insights for you guys. All right, so talk to you soon, Jays. Later. So right now I got some supervisors watching me and stuff like that and you're not supposed to really record but I haven't gotten any like footage and stuff like that um, of anything so I'm gonna try today to get some footage but they be just watching you watching you watching you Jay's like for real so um, I'm just gonna try to get some real life footage this is actually the last week but I know I'm posting the middle video very late so um, let's try to get some footage right now everybody is just moving the BMC's um, yeah, because the mail trucks are about to come in, so we just move in the BMCs in there um, with the full mail in their proper positions, and we clear the floor so all the trucks could line up appropriately and everything like that. So that's how the floor is looking right now. All right, so right now the trucks are starting to come in. We have to pull those silver things to the trucks and load up those boxes on the damn trucks. That is not our job description. We're just here in this hub helping out, guys. So the trucks are coming in right now. And this whole area, you see all the trucks pulling up. They are usually like about 10 to 12 trucks um, lined up here. And we got to get their trucks packed and out of here in a steady fashion. Okay, so I'm back home now. I could not record after that point, guys, because it gets very, very hectic. All right, and then after all of that, there's Mommy. nothing really else to see. So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, James. Mommy.